Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and I'm from Elemental Concept. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom brush in Illustrator and then bring it into After Effects and animate it, uh, an animated arrow uh, that's got a more bendy natural feel to it as if you're using the puppet tool. I hope you enjoy this. Without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create a custom brush. You're going to use your brush and you're just going to create a little blobby thing. Uh, just make sure you've got a couple of nobles on it. In fact, scrap that. I'm going to keep it even simpler than that. I'm going to make a circle. Duplicate that around. Make a smaller version. Make another one. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, another one. Right. I'm satisfied with that. Now you select the whole entire uh, circle and you go into your brush tabs under your basics drop down menu click new brush select art brush and say ok go down to method here and click tints and shades uh, you can choose the shape of your brush and the angle that it goes at by flipping this around uh, see these little arrows here so i'll just leave it at the preset it is already and i press ok and there my new brush appears. I can delete this. Now I want to make an arrow, so I'm just going to draw an arrow, a nice long arrow. And there we go. Select my whole entire selection. Go to my new custom brush and boom, you have a custom texture. Uh, I'm not really happy with the end of this brush, so what I'll do is I can thicken up the end. Let me show you how. You see this little thing that looks like a bow and arrow. I can click on there, click on the bow and arrow and widen up my brush at the end and make it thinner over there. I can do the same thing with my arrow. I can make it nice and thick here and make it nice and thin over there. Now the other thing I can do is I want to crop off that little bit there so I can just create a rectangle Select them both and right click and go make a clipping mask. And then I can just bring my arrow closer to the end. Right, so there we have our custom brush arrow. Let's save that bad boy out. Let's go into After Effects. And Choose my arrow. I'm going to grab, drag it into new composition. And I just want to crop that because I don't want the whole entire area. So you're going to go to this little region of interest cropping tool. And you can crop it until you're satisfied with that. And then you go into, where is it? Composition, crop to region of interest. Now that we have that cropped, I can take that same composition again, drag it into a new one. Let's just call this animation. And make sure my bring my composition back up to 1920 by 1080. Right, so we have a little arrow here. 
Uh, now this really cool plugin, uh, it's been around for quite a bit of time. It's called Amino Snake. I'll be sure to shout you out where to uh, find it. Uh, the first thing we want to do to make a, a custom arrow uh, animating on a path, it works very similar to the way the puppet tool uh, works, is you will go layer a new solid and it'll say OK. And now this essential will be the path that we're going to create for the arrow to move on. And then all I need to do is draw a nice little path. So actually, you know what, for funny purposes, what I'm going to rather do is create something a little bit more zigzaggy looking. Now we have our path and we can drag Amino Snake onto it. And we will choose arrow under there and under path we will choose mask and then we can just clear the background because we don't want to see anything but the arrow itself let me just create a new solid um, let's just put on a white background for now that's fine background and go back to our path now you can't actually see it at the moment so we need to make our arrow larger. If you just um, work with the source center Y and X until you've got your arrow back on its path. Right, so now you'll notice there's um, uh, something called advance over here. All you need to do is animate that and you can have your arrow animating off. Now you'll notice when it goes around the corners, unless you want this stylized look, uh, there's a way to resolve that. If you have uh, a more rounded path, so if I go to my uh, convert uh, vertex tool and open up the corners of your paths, then you It'll look a lot more fluid. Now let's just drop, um, drop a little animation here just so you can see how it works. Press U e on the keyboard and animate that off over there. Go back to the beginning frame, animate. One second. Hmm. And now one thing to bear in mind is Amino Snake can be a little bit buggy. So I'm going to also show you an alternative plugin too. Uh, hopefully this will rectify itself. Right, so back to where we were before. So yeah, we have our arrow animating off. We can um, once again make those paths a little bit smoother. Just create a new solid. White like before. Now, uh, if you have a look a little bit closer, the way this works is you have something called a uh, draw step, and if the number is really high, the detail is quite low. So, if you just set this all the way back to uh, one. There we go. And let's see what else could we do to Yeah, so if that looks a little bit buggy on that little end bit, we could just open up your path a little bit wider and have animate on. There we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, thank you.